Hey everyone, if you saw one of my recent videos of unclogging a culvert at this icy beaver swamp, you seen in the video that I found a mussel or maybe a clam on the edge of the water and I threw it back in a deep area after it had drained. So I'm here after that video and I'm looking around after all the water receded. You can see this was blasting. It pushed over all the grass. I'm looking around in here just in case and it's a good thing I did. I've already found one mussel or clam, whatever it is, right here. Look at this. Massive. Oh, it's alive. Look at that. It just went in. It just went in. That thing's huge. It's so pretty. It's a good thing I came back to look for these guys. Well, or this guy. I've only found one. I'm going to keep looking around in here until it gets dark. Because I feel like more of them may have got blasted out without me know knowing. What do you guys think? Were they hibernating or just hiding? What is that why they would have been in the dirt? Because I believe this was probably in the dirt when I was agitating it with the rake and it got sent through. So I'm just looking around. If there are any more and I don't find them, it's probably going to become raccoon food. Which I guess is good for the raccoon, not good for the clam. So here's what we're going to do with this guy. What do you guys think? Could something like this be kept as a pet? Like a snail? Since it kind of crawls around like a snail? I've always wanted to keep one as a pet. I don't know if it would do good or not in captivity. So here we go. Into a deep area. Hopefully... Yeah, I don't think that guy's going to go near this thing. Because that's the only place I can really throw him because everywhere else is iced over. If I find another, maybe I should break a hole and put him away from this system. This one is still flowing a lot because it's the primary. That's the secondary one just about dried up. Do we see any more? They're highly noticeable, which is the good thing about them. If they're here, it's not really that big of a deal because this is not going to dry up. It'll be quite a few weeks before it would freeze solid either. You can see they recently did trimming with heavy machinery. Here's a couple things stuck in the culvert pipe actually. Yeah, let's get down in there. Whoa! Let's pull out some of this. Because that's just going to create a blockage. Or create bad ideas for the beaver. They might create something here at the end. Okay, good. There's not that much in here. And you can hear the loud water. That's coming from like a little waterfall where it's pouring into the pipe can't do anything about it. It's unclogged as much as I possibly can. That's excavator damage. And no, I cannot bend that back out. There's no way to do that. Car jack does not work. You don't have enough strength to pull that back out. I want to go back over here where it's easier to look since I did see both of the clams after all at this pipe. Could there be any inside? It could also be buried in here. The raccoon will find them.